Hi, my name is Dennis Fletcher. I'm here to show you how to recover, vacuum, leak test, and charge the AC system on this Freightliner right here. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is hook up the high pressure and low pressure lines. Uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna mount the fitting on and then you're gonna have to back, back seat it to get the pressure reading on the gauge. So what you do, this is gonna be the high pressure side. Put it on, you're gonna back seat it. Make sure you get a good connection. Next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna hook up the low pressure side. You got a good connection. The next thing you're gonna do, you should go back over here. And your seat see on your gauges, you should get a PSI rating. Right here, it's a little bit over 100, just about 65 PSI. All right, first thing we're gonna do is hit the re recycle or recovery button. Hit that. It's gonna ask you to check the oil drain, the level right here with the O-ring. Back over here. Whatever oil on top is the oil you recover from the system. So we marked it as right about 100 mil. Uh, what is it? Right here. So they said continue. You want to hit yes. We ask you if all the uh, hoses are connected. Open the valve for open. So you hit start. All right. The recovery recycle is complete. It shows the amount recovered is 2.8 pounds. It also says check the oil bottle and you can see the level to see if we recovered any oil. As you see, looks like we didn't recover any oils. So we're good. No worries. Also, you want to check and see that the, the system has no pressure in it on the high and low side. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do a vacuum test. So what we do is you hit vacuum. that first vacuum Yes or no? You hit yes. So it's going to do a vacuum for 10 minutes. Now, after the 10 minutes is up, you want to go ahead and let it sit for five minutes for the leak test. All right, now the vacuum test is complete. We go ahead and we let it sit for five minutes. We check the pressure. So we're at zero psi, and we're holding right about 27 in our vacuum. Really, really good. Now what that tells you is that the system's under pressure and you don't have any kind of leaks into the fittings or lines or any of the components. Uh, because it's under pressure and what it would do is it would suck in air from the outside. So once we're done with the vacuum, we're going to go ahead and stop to end. Now we're going to charge. All right, now we're going to go ahead and charge this system. So we're going to hit is charge. And we're going to go ahead and select the amount. Hit no. Now when we did our recovery, we recovered 2.8 pounds, so that's already entered in for us. If not, you would hit the dial pad and enter in 2.8 pounds. So I'm just asking you to continue. Go ahead and yes. And go ahead and continue again. It's clearing in the process, and now it's going to go ahead and charge the system. Alright, now the charge is complete. I ask you want to continue. Go ahead and hit yes. Now it's asking you to back your hose and then start. Now it's asking you to disconnect the high, the high pressure side and start AC to max. So what you're going to do. Disconnect the high pressure side. Now you're, turn, now you're going to turn the vehicle off.
Now, once the vehicle's on, you turn the AC on max. Go ahead and hit continue. Yes. Now it turns the equalizing hose and you can get all the pressure in the hose. Now say, disconnect the low side and turn the engine off. That's how you that's how you charge the system. So what we just did, we recycle recovered, did a vacuum pressure test, we charged the system.